Good morning, I'm John Pineck with the Mojave Valley Daily News and this is your daily dose for Tuesday, November 3rd, Election Day. See, I went out and voted, I hope you all did too. My father always said, if you don't go out and vote, then you got no right to complain about any of the elected officials. So go and vote. Daily Dose is brought to you by Tri-State Radiology Center, located in Fort Mojave, Arizona. Tri-State Radiology's professional staff will prioritize your scheduled or expedited needs for images and reports. Your reports are read within 24 hours and you will receive a copy upon request. For all your radiology needs, call Tri-State Radiology Center, where your image means the world to us. All right, let's see what's going on. Well, talking about voting, right off the top there, voter turnout already at 62% statewide. Uh, last election in Bullhead City, we were at about 69%, so we got a big, big jump on that already. Um, the, in Arizona, it was 74%. In Mojave County, it was 70%. Sorry, in Bullhead City, it was 65%. So we got a big jump on that already. Um, I know that this morning when I got there, when they opened at 6 o'clock, there was already a pretty good line. So um, just plan all day that you're going to probably be out there. Uh, it's going to take a little while, so give yourself some extra time. Um, statewide though it's looking like uh, like we're going to be above the numbers that we normally have there's a lot of interest obviously don't forget please as I already had one person call me today and say they didn't know that on the back of the ballot is the statewide prep, uh, proposition so 207 208 if you're down in the valley the one uh, for the continuation for the Mojave Valley El Elementary School District all those are, are on the back, so it may look like a bunch of gibberish on the back. It's more ballots, more uh, initiatives and propositions. The county yesterday rescinded the emergency declaration. It doesn't really affect us too much. We're still falling under the governor's executive orders when it comes to bars and restaurants and all that stuff. What it does do is it removes some of the powers that the board has when it comes or the, the uh, uh, chairman of the board anyway, Gene Bishop, when it comes to making declarations on things. Um, they talked a little bit about, we all know about the Great American Pizza problem up there in Golden Valley. Um, the issue is, is that whenever somebody calls in to complain about uh, a restaurant or a bar not following the protocols that the governor established, if they'll go send somebody out there to inspect, if they're not following the, the executive orders they're warned they're told not they're told to fix it typically they will great american pizza apparently decided that they're not going to um and they've been told multiple times to get it fixed and they haven't so they're kind of a, a anomaly there let's say that supervisor angus who represents bullhead city noted that 99 percent of infected people from 0 to 69 survive and above 70 um, it's 94.6%, so she believes that we need to focus on the recoveries. There's a nice picture of uh, Bullhead City Police Department Sergeant Sean Brooks. Uh, there's a nice long story here about, about uh, Sergeant Brooks and his history. He's been named the Grand Marshal of the uh, Paul Walsh Veterans Day Parade coming up. I believe that's on November 10th. Um, but it's a nice history about his time in the military and his time here and his time in, in Iraq and all that, so good stuff. DPS is looking for information on a hit and run fatality. Um, this happened Wednesday, um, last Wednesday down in Mojave Valley. It was a white uh, SUV, a white Mercedes-Benz M-Class SUV. Um, there's also a second truck that's described as a dually, but they don't really understand or have very much information about it. But we don't have the, the uh, identity of the woman who was killed, but it was a 66-year-old female from Fort Mojave. Um, apparently she was riding in a cab and then asked to get out, got out and got hit uh, on a hit and run. So if you have any information, uh, they're asking you to get a hold of the DPS office in Kingman or you can go to um, 
azdps.gov slash tips and do it anonymously. Uh, in COVID news, I know a lot of you are gonna fast forward right past this part, but 89 new cases in the county yesterday. Um, after weeks of being in double digits, we are back in triple digits. This will be the third straight week. Uh, two weeks ago, we were at 101. Last week, we were at 160, 160. And this week, um, we're climbing quickly. Yesterday was 89. So um, we see that around the country, especially in the Midwest. But around the country, we see the new cases climbing again. So it's kind of weird that the same day when the uh, supervisors voted to rescind our emergency orders. Um, the health department reported that uh, that we're still climbing and climbing and climbing. Trump campaign and the GOP are planning on appealing the Clark County ballot count ruling. Um, don't really understand what basis they have there, but they they believe that uh, the Supreme Court should stop the count of, of um, mail-in ballots. They also wanted to get the information on all the people who are working the ballots. Um, that was blocked, uh, citing security reasons. Don't really understand the reasoning behind that either. Um, but judges all along, and you'll see later, uh, all around the country have enforced the, um, the privacy of that and the legality of mail-in ballots. So. This might be the page to stick to today, the cartoons page with all the election stuff going on. A lot of negative news, but at least at least we're going to be done with uh, attack ads, which is nice. Um, here's another one. Trump promises court fight over Pennsylvania absentee votes. That's kind of a weird one because they're talking about um, allowing votes and the Pennsylvania courts have, have already ruled on this, that it's legal. Counting votes that are turned in up to three days after election day, so um, we could we could have another week or so before we actually know the results of the election, depending on how important Pennsylvania is when it comes down to the um, to the final uh, tally on um, on electoral votes. But but we'll see that that could take a little bit. Hospitals competing for nurses is virus cases surge. There's an extreme shortage of nurses around the country. Um, so good story on that. Really nothing going on in sports. Um, you know, we had a Monday night football game last night. The Buccaneers barely edged the Giants by two, but um, that's about it. Basketball is done. Baseball is done. Um, NASCAR has got the playoffs, but that won't be till this weekend. So, weather another nice sunny day, 90 degrees today in Bullhead, and it's supposed to be even warmer over the next few days. The highs are 95 with light winds and sunny, so it'll be nice. So, no reason to not go out and vote. Um, if you're concerned about coronavirus, take your mask, uh, but it's your duty, so please go out and do it. Not only that, you get one of these cool stickers, which are pretty sweet. All right, the Daily Dose brought to you by the Tri-State Radiology Center. The Tri-State Radiology Center offers same or next day appointments, and they accept most insurances, including Medi-Cal. They have a wide open MRI and offer digital x-rays with your reports ready in 24 hours. So call today for an appointment at 928-460-7226. And a reminder, the Daily Dose Valley Voices are now available to stream on the Anchor app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts, and more. We're all over the place. We're like a bad rash. So look at the description uh, below, and it's got all those streaming services on there, and check them out. Um, please remember, there is information on the back of your ballot. Go out and, and, and look it over well. I went through mine a couple of times to make sure I didn't miss any bubbles. Um, if you are concerned about writing in, the, each of the poll places are required to have a list of the write-in candidates that qualified. Don't be afraid to go ask them for that list and go get it. Uh, you have to make sure that you fill in the bubble for the write-ins and you have to make sure you spell their name right. So we got a nice list of uh, writing candidates for school board. Um, go and ask them for it. All right, everyone. Have a great Tuesday. Um, Election Day, and I will see you here tomorrow.